Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you are doing great because it is a fabulous day. Have you ever been offered a free cruise? If you go and you listen to somebody talk to you about a, a holiday space to stay, well, okay, they offered me a couple of free prizes and the group is called Holiday Network and they gave me this and I'm headed out there and I'm going to see if I can take you along and tell you if it's worth it. So if you want to know more about this, just stick around. Okay, this is an insert. Why? Because I lost footage. I don't know where it went. <laughs> so I am going to insert some information. First, let me tell you how I found these people. Well, I went to the Marlin Stadium. I made a video on that. Check it out. And there was a booth and it looked like a really happy booth. So, you know, I went over there and <laughs> there was this gentleman. His name was Layton and he signed me up for a presentation and he said that there was no obligation and um, there was a cost because they wanted to make sure I went to the presentation but that they would refund. And I said, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this because I think that it would be a good thing for me to do a video on. So I went ahead, I signed up for the presentation and of course later I googled because I was not very trusting. I said, you know, these people, it's, it's going to be either a hard pressure sale or um, I'm going to lose my 30 bucks or who knows what it's going to be. So I went to the Newport Hotel because that's where they were having it, the Newport Hotel in Sunny Isles. I went over there and I, uh, the parking was across the street and I went into the hotel. I went into a little office. They took a photographic, not a photographic, what do you call it, a photocopy of my driver's license and I didn't like that. I said, why do you need a photocopy of my driver's license? But they said, no problem, at the end of the presentation you can get it back, it's just for security. I said, okay, fine. <laughs> and then they gave me a number, like not a number, it was a uh, table marker and uh, like at the restaurants, so it was a table marker and I put it on my table and it was a letter. So I waited there and um, somebody approached me. Her name was Lola. She was very nice. And then she took me to another room upstairs somewhere. And that's where the sales pitch began. But it was very nice. She was not a hard sale. You know, she was not a pressure sale. She was very nice. The room was super loud. I did not like that room. It was so, I wanted to leave. I don't know, it's counterproductive. So I wanted to leave so bad. I wanted to get out of there because it was so noisy. But um, it was funny because every time that somebody would sign a contract, um, what's his name? One of them is Anthony, the cruise director from Carnival Cruise would make an announcement and they would give him a champagne <laughs> and they would make a big deal about it. So, you know, the kind of pep rally type of situation. But so I stayed there. It was the presentation included a tour into what they would call a model of their units that they have available all over the country and information about the partnerships that are available in this network which is a vacation um, share. You're not really buying a physical uh, interest in a building like a timeshare, but rather on vacation packages. I did not buy any, um, but, uh, but I like that it was not a hard sale, that they didn't pressure me, um, that they were nice, and um, it took about two hours and a half. <laughs> it was a long pressure, I mean, no pressure, but it was a long presentation. And they had coffee, tea, water, and uh, chips. So if you're going, <laughs> have lunch before. <laughs> because yes, they do have light refreshments, but they're light. <laughs> 
Um, and other than that, it was uh, it was nice. Now let me let's take you on to the rest of the tour that I did video and didn't lose. I'm in the hotel right now. It does look very nice. I haven't been here for about I think it's been seven years. So I can see that they did do renovations. It's a really nice hotel. I think you can see it in the background, and they have a lot of different activities that you can do if you do come and stay here and they have a great spa and a beautiful pool and beachside area I'm gonna show you that when I get to it this is the pool area I remember Groupon used to have some specials that were really really good where you would buy a massage and a dinner and I think they were like for maybe $40 it was really, really good. Um, the pool area has undergone renovations as well, and it's a nice place to stay. It's family friendly, and uh, a lot of people do come here, a lot of families, and I have to say, a lot of locals do come and stay over here at the airport. The presentation is over. I have to tell you, I had a lady whose name was Lola and she was excellent. She was very nice, she was very informative. I did not feel that she was trying to force me into purchasing something. She was asking me questions, trying to find out what I liked and to show me how the product she had to offer, which is a vacation package product. She wanted to show me how that would match what I like. Uh, of course, they do call in somebody else who comes in afterwards at, towards the end of the sales pitch because it is a sales pitch. And that person, Anthony, he was also extremely nice and respectful. His name uh, Anthony, and uh, he was actually from Carnival Cruise Lines. He was very nice, very respectful. I did not feel pressured. And then finally, the third one that came was Cameron, and again, it was very easy. It wasn't a forceful pressure sale at any time of the process. So I feel very good about that. Now, they do promise you some gifts. So let me show you what I got. I'm gonna show you what I have. I had to move over here because this was the quietest place of the Newport Hotel. The lobby is extremely noisy and of course you can imagine that their pool area, that was noisy as well. But they did give me a lot of gifts for coming, listening to their presentation and seeing if it was a good fit for me. And one of the things they gave me were vouchers to heat tickets I got four of these. I have been wanting to go to watch a basketball game forever. So I'm very happy I got these. So very, very happy. I also got, um, I've never seen a heat ticket. I mean a heat game. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, can't wait, I can't wait. Now, I also got a few of these. This is for a restaurant. These are $30 dining vouchers. And um, I actually called on the phone because I wanted to see if there was something iffy or tricky about how to use these vouchers. And the guy on the phone said, no, you just come in and they will, you know, honor the $30, take it off your bill. It's not anything complicated. So I thought that was great. I've got three of those. <laughs> so I thought that was fabulous. Now there is another one, a very big one, and that would be a supposedly a free vacation tour for uh, on a cruise from Carnival. That one, from what I have heard, you do have to pay uh, from $123 to $199 up front, and that's what they call the LLC service fee. I think that's just money that you pay, like this uh, vacation company for setting this up. I don't think that goes to your taxes or your port fees, which you have to pay in addition. So if I add, let's say, uh, round it up to $200. If I add $200 plus the taxes and the port fees, um, I will still be getting a discounted price for a Cruise. It's not necessarily what I would like to call free, 
but that's okay. <laughs> Let's see if I do it. If I do it, I will go ahead and let you know exactly how it went and how the purchasing process went and how much money I did save because I'll compare the price of this cruise using that certificate with uh, the same cruise not using a certificate. So all in all, it was a little over two hours. They served coffee, water, and chips. <laughs> and I guess it was not such a painful activity. It was nice, except for one thing which was horrific. They were playing loud music all the time. I mean, it was good music, but it was so loud. At one point, I actually got up and danced with a sales representative that was across the table. But it was very frustrating. I wanted to leave because it was really agitating. It was very loud. It was hard to hear what the presenter was telling me. I don't know why they want to have loud music, but that was the only thing I would suggest that they change. So other than that, if somebody offers you a free cruise, if you go and listen to their presentation, I would say you went ahead and did it. I think it'll be a good thing. So I hope you think this video is a good thing. Please like and subscribe. But above all of that, I hope that you have a day filled with peace, love, and joy. Bye-bye.